Infrared radiation, infrared rays and electromagnetic radiation occupy the special domain between the red end of visible light spectrum and shortwave radio frequency emission. The infrared spectrum range is provisionally classified into near, intermediate and far infrared radiation. V. Herschel, a genius English scientist, discovered the infrared radiation in 1800. Then it was proved that infrared radiation is in line with optical laws, therefore its nature is similar to visible light. Similar to visible and ultraviolet radiation spectra, infrared radiation spectrum may either be made up of discrete lines or be continuous. This depends on infrared radiation source. Generally, optical properties, transparency, reflection factor and refraction factor within the infrared domain substantially differs from properties occupied within the visible and ultraviolet domains. Many substances transparent within the visible domain turn out to be non-transparent in infrared domain and vice versa. The Earth atmosphere attenuates infrared radiation as it disperses and is absorbed. Nitrogen and oxygen containing air do not absorb infrared radiation, though they attenuate radiation due to the dispersal. However, it disperses less invisible light. Water vapors, carbon dioxide, ozone and other air impurities selectively absorb infrared radiation. Water vapors, whose absorption bands lie within almost the whole infrared spectrum domain, are the most intensive infrared radiation absorbers. While it is carbon dioxide that intensively absorbs radiation within the intermediate infrared region. Suspended solids contained in the atmosphere, i.e. smoke, dust, dispersed water drops, mist fog, additionally attenuate infrared radiation as it disperses more intensively. Note that dispersal value depends on the ratio between the size of such suspended solids and radiation have length. The Sun is a powerful infrared radiation source, as almost 50% of radiation emitted by the Sun lies within the infrared domain. Some laser oscillators also emit radiation within the infrared domain. For instance, wavelength of neodymium doped glass laser radiation is 1.06 micrometer. Helium neon laser emits radiation within the wavelength of 1.15 and 3.39, and carbon dioxide laser yields the wavelength of 10.6 micrometer, while the semiconductor laser provides the wavelength of 5 micrometer. Infrared radiation finds a wide utility in scientific research, electronic engineering, for instance, for infrared diodes and photodiodes, heavy engineering. It is also extremely useful for military industry, for radar sets, range finders, night vision equipment, land-based and space communication equipment. One of the most important infrared radiation utilities is its favorable influence on the human body. When radiantly heated, a human body emits most of excess heat to cool the air through convection. Such kind of heat exchange makes people feel fresh and is good for human health.